What's the crack nut sacks? Sven Barr here and obviously I'm not there tonight. I know Tony said I was going to be here giving my thoughts on ISOM number one uh, but you know he neglected to mention that I won't be here for the next two weeks so instead of making Tony out to be a liar and having you guys unsubscribe and throw your memberships in the bin I decided I'll just do my, my thoughts in a video here for ISOM number one which I have read. It's here and I know what you're all going to say. You're all going to say oh Finn Barr you pirated this. No, I paid cash money for this. I paid uh, 45 US dollars plus uh, $9 shipping for this digital copy of ISOM number one. Um, so, what did I think of it? Very good. I really enjoyed it. It was a good, really good book. Uh, it's like 300 pages long. It's very long. Um, I really like, especially, I'm going to just point out what I really liked about it first. I really like the, the, you know, the quality of paper. If you zoom in, you can see here. You can really see the paper quality here. Um, I know it's digital, but you can still see it. The, the paper quality is premium. Um, so that's what I really love about it. So the, the the story, yeah, okay, it's a bit um, generic, but it's issue one. You know, we've only had 450 pages to, to introduce this character. We need time. We need to see what he's going to be all about. So I'm looking forward to number two. I haven't read it yet. I know Tony said I had. Again, it was a mistake. I haven't read it yet. I'm going to read it once uh, I um, am able to obtain a digital copy legally, of course, from my good friend. Um, what I really like is Cliff Richards drew this. Uh, if anybody knows him, he did Summer Holiday and songs like that. He he actually he added uh, some Easter eggs for us Brits. He put uh, a UK license plate. I don't know what this is up here. But Cliff, he's a funny guy. He does things like that. Um yeah, it's good. It's a good book. I like the the main character, uh, whose name escapes me. What I really love about him is his powers are. You don't know what yet what his powers are, so you're gonna find out over the next, hopefully, ten to twenty issues. You'll see different powers will emerge, and there's also characters that you don't know anything about that pop up, and you're gonna find out a lot more about them. They're gonna get their own books. Chuck Dixon's coming aboard. Chuck Dixon is a fantastic writer. I love his Batman. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good book. I uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, there's some maybe some uh, sound effects missing here and there, but I think that just adds to the overall mystery of the story. Uh, good book, good book. I uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing what Eric July does next. He's um. He's he's clearly got the street speak down. I like how he gets the uh, he gets the, like sort of the real life talk going on here with these characters. It's it's good. Um, what else is that they say? I mean, look, Tony's a hater. He's gonna hate. There's nothing you can do about it. He just hasn't given these books a chance. You've got to give it at least I think maybe fifteen to twenty issues before you decide if a title was crap or not. And I can tell you right now from the very beginning, I knew that Ison was gonna be good. Just, just from the, the the several front covers alone. Uh, so yeah, item number one. Get it, everybody. I know. Um, I know that issue two is supposed to be even better than issue one. I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, like I say, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in touch with my my good friend. Um, uh, Nigerian Prince sixty nine. He sold me this one. He sold it. To me for $45 plus $9 shipping. Even though it's got it in an email. Anyway, get it now guys. If you haven't read it, read it. Read number two because I'm sure number two is going to be good. Awesome. Awesome. Good job Eric July. Clip Mr Cliff Richards. Didn't know you could draw. I thought you were just a singer. I especially love how you... Uh, Turn up at the, the Wimbledon and serenade the crowds with your songs when it's raining. Fantastic stuff. And he's, he's like I say, sticking these Easter eggs in here. These art Easter eggs, you know. Something something to, you catch your eye. Something to, to surprise you. Awesome stuff. Awesome writing. Awesome art. I don't know what that guy did. Uh, Colour. Awesome colours. They really pop, you know. Anyway, item number one. Get it if you haven't got it. Don't listen to Tony, he's a hater, and don't listen to all those other haters, shout out to my boy Taserface, shout out to that guy that called me, uh, 
the one that said the, high, the IQ of a, a low low class bitch. I can't remember what he said, but shout out to those guys because those are my boys. Ice number one, get it now. See you guys in two weeks' time. Peace out.